Now, one of the things that you can do to help your rhododendrons is to remove uh, the flower heads once they finish flowering. And why do you want to do that? Um, the answer is very obvious um, in that if this rhododendron wastes a lot of energy turning these seed pods into enormous seeds, it won't flower as well next year and the new growth will be quite stunted because it'll be competing with the energy which has otherwise gone into the seeds. If the seeds are, are not going to set, you'll be able to break them off very easily. These clearly are going to set, so we need to go around with a pair of secateurs and just quietly cut off the, seed, the, 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 the old flower heads. Sometimes you can break them off, uh, but if, you, if they're as tough as these, the danger is that you may break off some of the uh, new shoots as well. So you need to go quite gently with a pair of secateurs and just remove, remove the seed heads. What you'll see now is that this new growth will shoot into action, whereas where, if we've left any seed heads, um, the new growth will come much more slowly. Now, if you've got a small rhododendron, instead of a pair of secateurs, you're probably better off with a pair of scissors. Um, but it's well worth doing, even though it takes a bit of time. And what you'll be doing is ensuring that this shoot next year will produce a massive great flower. If all that energy had been wasted in seed production, it might very well not flower.